I assume it's going to split in the middle. Okay, that was a bit overkill on my end. The schematics will be right there on top. Bloop. One small screw and another one. Is it glue or is there something else? Bloop. Should have done that before. Ah, there it is. And it's out. I said it's out. Is there a washer? Yes, there is. Cool. Let's see. First step is to always do physical inspection. Well, th there's no possibility that anything could have broken off just from the fall. And we have a lot of electronics next to the fan. We actually do. How do I know if it's not... Yep, it is reverse threaded. Uh, I'll put that there. Okay, let's... Uh, let's see. I'm gonna... Disconnect this plug. It's plugged in. Now I just need to make sure not to short and not to touch any capacitors. I'd like to join you from behind the scenes for a bit. Um, I've spent maybe a minute or so trying to get a reading of the voltage right here. You just saw maybe something 12 volt spike and uh, I did notice that when I was trying to measure it but uh, at the moment I didn't fully note that this signal could be pulse width modulation. Uh, my meter is only able to measure up to 60 Hertz but the signal that's coming out from the chip is way higher that's why you can barely see 7.9 12 uh, and then it disappears so that's all my meter was able to pick up This connector so poorly made. Right there. It doesn't fix it. Well, I'm gonna have to leave it be. Let's see what happens now. I've plugged it into power. And of course, I don't have the board back in its place. Level one, two, three. Oh, it's spinning now. Would you look at that? And it magically started working. So to verify that it's the plug that's faulty, I connected my oscilloscope to the positive and negative terminals and I can see a constant flow of 25 volts uh, and it doesn't the voltage doesn't change depending on which speed the fan is set to uh, then I connected my oscilloscope LEDs to check the 
clock and FG. I don't know what the FG stands for, but anyway, you can see the pulse width modulation. On the first speed, the frequency is around 100 hertz. On the second frequency, it's around 220 hertz. And on the highest speed, the fan spins at, or the frequency is 300 hertz. And there we are, the mystery is solved. The problem was in the poorly made connector which for some reason doesn't fully seat in and doesn't fixate. So I just pushed it in as much as possible and used hot glue to stick it into place so it wouldn't fall out anymore and assembled everything back together. A job well done.